We begin with a story we've been following for weeks. A fungal infection outbreak linked to an Escanaba, Michigan paper mill. Health officials say there are 104 confirmed or probable cases of blastomycosis among employees, contractors, or visitors to the mill. It's a disease associated with fungus that grows in moist soil and decomposing matter such as wood and leaves. Now the mill is temporarily closed, but Lena Bleets headed up to Escanaba to talk to some workers there who have blastomycosis. Selena, you talked to a man who actually came to Green Bay for treatment, correct? Yeah, thanks, Brittany. So I talked to Eric Phillips, a man who works at the mill. He's been working there for almost exactly a year, um, but he got sick back in February. He said actually that he felt like he was having a heart attack. And so he was at work. They called an ambulance. They started treating him for a heart attack when he was in the ambulance. But then after doing EKGs and other blood tests, they realized it wasn't his heart. And they did a CT scan where they saw um, a couple of masses. So he does have um, masses in his lungs still. Um, when they saw that and they kind of had an idea of maybe what it was, especially because there have been other cases, they went ahead and sent him down to Green Bay. So he spent 23 days in the hospital wow. in Green Bay, and a lot of those days were in isolation, which um, this guy definitely likes to be out and about walking around, so laying in a bed would have yeah. been hard for him. Tough, absolutely. So, you know, you said he's been there about a year. I know the investigation continues. There's that video kind of shows hazmat people, but does he have any idea how he got the fungus infection? So he does think that he probably got it from the paper mill. Okay. He says that, you know, just that's probably what makes the most sense because the other people that he knows that have it also work there. But he also said, you know, he's the only person in his department that got it. So, the, and he works outside a lot. There are other people that work inside. The mill is huge. We drove around it yesterday. And, I mean, if something that could be contaminated in one spot could easily, um, you know, miss other people. So having them shut it down and clean the entire thing is a big deal. And he thinks he probably got it there just because that's what makes the most mm -hmm. sense. But also living in that area, they do have cases up in okay. the UP with the, that kind of weather and all of the wooded areas. Absolutely. I didn't know Wisconsin is one of those states that has higher cases <laughs> of blastomycosis as well. You know, is the company involved in his treatment? Are they helping with his recovery? So Phillips is actually a military veteran. So the VA is paying for all of his expensive expenses. He said he's had a wonderful time actually with the VA and that St. Mary's Hospital in Green Bay helped him out a lot with filing that paperwork. But uh, the company is helping right now while they are closing down for at least three weeks. They're continuing to pay everyone in full. This is something that Phillips was really excited about and he made sure to note how great he thinks it is that the company is doing that instead of you know laying everybody off because they're also going through some other changes sure. um, that are unrelated to this and so instead of doing that they're keeping everyone on they're continuing to get paid and while he, he has health insurance through the VA other people that ha have gotten sick with this their health insurance um, they likely did have health insurance through uh, the paper mill. Alright Lena thanks for heading north for us with the story.